why concentrate on other religions? I think Islam is the biggest problem. For example, what are Christians going to do if you disagree with them? Forgive you as hard as they can. <laughs> um, so I understand the sentiment behind this, but I think you have to think of things in more pragmatic um, and realistic terms. So part of this has to do with a certain amount of like local relativism. And I'm not a relativist. I just mean that given on your country, whatever the majoritarian religion is in your country is going to cause the bigger problems. Okay. So in America, that is obviously white evangelicism. Obviously. <laughs> There's so many different polls I could point to about why this is our most pressing religious issue. It's it's a one-way ratchet that is so harmful to our country right now. This um, refueling of white Christian evangelical, like this nationalist fervor. Um, I could go on, but I want to hear what Armin has to say. I think it's more than just right, um, you know, f religious fervor, like the most religious communities that are Christian. I actually used to think that the greatest threat, religious threat in United States was Christianity, uh, in India was Hinduism, in Israel is Judaism, and in Islamic countries in Islam, right? And so therefore it makes sense for us to attack Christianity, given that the big, biggest threat in, in Christian countries is Christianity. like. Uh, not as like Islam is a, such an insignificant uh, harm to United States compared to the harm of Christianity to the United States, right? Uh, and I was like, of course, we're going to attack Christianity, given that uh, relatively to Islam, you know. So yes, if you if you focus on a country like Iran or Saudi Arabia or Bangladesh or Egypt, the cost of Islam to these countries are extreme, much higher. But that's not true everywhere, right? But now I think you don't even have to even focus on United States um, or other Christian countries for you to come to the conclusion that the harm of Christianity is high. Because I actually think that even though Islam as a religion is more harmful, the, the total effect, the aggregate effect of Christianity on the planet as a whole is more because of the resources that are accessible to the people that their that their decisions are influenced by Christianity. So even though Islam as a religion is the most harmful one, given its lack of access to power by the people who are influenced by that religion, in effect, it will have a less cost to the planet. What do I mean? Like, again, what I always tell people that the three greatest forces, uh, political forces against our planet are, are the CCP, the BJP, and the GOP. And none of these three great forces are Islamic. The GOP's effect, the, G, the GOP, okay, yeah, the BJP is the largest political party. But the GOP is the most funded one, is the most powerful one, is the most globally influential one. And that is that is a political force that is making decisions on foreign policy in a way that is affecting the entire planet and on taking care of the you know nature and fighting climate change, the decisions that are being made on how significant that battle needs to be is partly influenced by the fact that the supporters of that political party are Christians and their Christian ideology is making as having an effect on how they vote and what they pressure their politicians on. And obviously that has an extremely negative effect, not just on Americans, but on everyone on the planet. So the cost of Christianity to this planet is significantly high. It's, it, it's, it's, a, it's one of those, it, you know, like other, other costs of religions is dramatic and is harming a lot of people, but it's not existential to the way that the, G, that the GOP's 
refusal to fight against climate change or the fact that some of their pol foreign policy de decisions are influenced by the people who want to see the messiah coming back in israel like that has that the, that it, they are driven by that ideology and the fact that the the military force that they these people have access to is bigger than all the military force of all the other countries combined and they these people are being influenced by christianity and you want to come tell me like oh what what are christians going to do they're going to forgive you as are like no these people want the, these people are looking for are voting partly motivated by bringing absolute chaos to the whole goddamn planet just because they want to see jesus back you don't think that is Jeepers. that is do you, do you think that that does not warrant some <laughs> some you know a, concern being, concern yeah <laughs> exactly cuz i'm concerned <laughs> i'm concerned yes atheist republic needs your help we've been the target of many legal attacks by hindu nationalists ever since our founder armin avabi blasphemed against hindu deities we have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in india we have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.